Hello everyone, it's uh, Man City 7, Leeds 0. Big result, didn't see it coming. Gotta say, at the beginning of the game, when I'm looking at the lineup, I'm thinking to myself, no Cancelo, no Walker, no Pace at fullback. We had John Stones right back, and we had Sinchenko on the left. You know, it could have gone either way, I think. Uh, they've got Pace up front. I thought they'd use it more with Fina and Dan James playing solo striker, but they never got to, really. We defended quite well. Again, quite high up. I'll press them a spot on. And Leeds couldn't live with it. Very early on, it was uh, the tone was set. And they couldn't pass away from our um, press. It, it was just too much for them. But I'll get to Leeds later because I thought every one of the eight players played well. I wouldn't get. I mean, there's no point doing a player ratings thing because I think everyone was at least an eight. It wasn't one bad performance. There was a couple of hairy moments in that first half. I thought Sinchenko got away with a handball. I mean, I'd have to look it again. I only saw it in real time at the ground. But it looked like he might have got a push too, and maybe that's why they let it go. And it did look like could have been outside the box, so possible red. I'm not really sure. But either way, it wasn't. And yeah, we ended that first half 3 0 up. And like I said, everyone played well. Grudis got his first ever header in the Premier League. I thought he had a good game. Was it £100 million worth? No. But better. De Bruyne had a fantastic game. He got his two goals. And what a screamer his second one was. His first one was good. Played through by Rodri. I thought it was too far the to pass, but he got on to the end of it. Lashed in with his left foot first time. Um, past Messier. And uh, yeah, great goal. But the second one, 25 yards, 30 yards, something like that. Right foot, bang, straight past the keeper. Not exactly accurate, wasn't in the corner, but the pace and the power beat the keeper. You had a. He had no chance for it, really. And it was a great performance. Um, Pep said after the game that, you know, Kevin's finding his rhythm again, that he's getting back into it. And he showed today, I thought today was his best performance for us this season. I think he has been pretty poor. I think he's allowed a poor season. You're probably not going to get one in this team because you've got players like Gundogan waiting to come in. You know, and you're not going to get rid of Bernardo at the moment either. Gordon's on song, but yeah, De Bruyne looked good today. He, he was really back in it. It's a shame he couldn't get a third. May have had a good chance at the end, but he skied it um, in injury time, 93rd minute. But other than that, faultless, and he deserved man of the match, I thought. And we did take Diaz off in the second half, resting him. We took Rodri off as well. Probably giving him a break as well. Probably, you know, making sure we don't get any yellows. I've already sendings off. We didn't need it. We were like 5 6 0 when that happened. But Fernandinho came in. I thought he did all right, breaking the plays he normally does when Leeds were trying to counter. But yeah, it was a fantastic performance of the team. I thought Foden had a great game. Shame he only got the one goal. You know, and uh, funny enough, that was the one he missed hit. But, you know, a lot today. You look at that Leeds defence, they were awful. They, I can't even say it was champion material, they were bad. They they weren't tracking runners, they weren't defending in the box for crosses. Like we scored like two, three headers or something like that. Like uh they, they're just bad. Um Stones left alone for so long when he got his goal. I mean it was great to see Stone score. I'm so glad he did score, but he had one attempt, I think it was Laporte, keeper saves, falls to um, Stones, he has a shot of his right, keeper saves and still no defenders closing down, no defenders moving, they all just stood there watching him and he smashes it in again with his left top of the net so Leeds really, they really they really gave us that game they they were awful from minute one to the 90th minute and I saw a lot of things saying that Leeds fans were at the end singing along, I mean most of them had left, most of the City fans had left but just a word on that as well, I thought today was the best atmosphere we've seen all season at the Etihad, you know um it wasn't full, but we had a good crowd. Everyone was up for it. The light show at the beginning was quite nice. I think they did that for the Champions League as well against PSG. And uh, yeah, they got everyone pumped up for it, and it was quite good. And we even saw the Poznan towards the end of the second half as well. We've not seen that for a few years, and that was that was fun to watch. Um, most of the stadium got together with that. So great performance all around from the players, from Pep, and from the fans. And again, like I said, one, one last little note is that when I saw that lineup today, I mean, I, I went into this expecting maybe a 1 or 2 1 to Leeds. I could see it going a bit like how last season's went. You know, couldn't break them down and they hit us on the counter. But today, when I saw the lineup, when I saw Stones at right, Sinchenko on the left, and I thought, Ooh. you know, no pace there. It's going to be an interesting one. But he lived up to it. I thought Stones did really well getting up and down the pitch. You know, he had a couple of chances where he's breaking down that right hand side. And yeah, we played Mares on the right. No Sterling, no Jesus. I thought Jesus was going to be a big miss for us, but he wasn't. I thought Foden was brilliant in the middle. And I thought, like I said, I, grew, I think Grealish had a good game too. He's getting there, still not great, but, you know, he's scoring goals and he does need to score goals. I think that's one thing he needs to add. You know, whether he has a good performance or not, I think if he's not scoring goals, he's always going to be questioned because people are just going to see the highlights of a game. You know, um, 
that's where Fernandez gets like his Fernandez thing because every highlight is him scoring a penalty. You know, it's not see um, him scoring twenty five yard screams or things like that or taking defenders on because they're not the highlights. So for Grealish to be, you know, mentioned, you know, more positively by fans that are not City fans or even City fans that are going to the ground is that he needs to score. He needs to be on them highlights. You can't his highlights can't be him missing chances. That's just the way it is. And we missed a lot of chances today, believe it or not. For seven 0 we did miss a lot of chances, but we put more in. And there's one moment again when I thought this could be a t like an annoying game. There's a bit when Bernardo got down the left hand side, he gets to the byline, he cuts it back into the six yard box, and there was four city players on the um, edge of the penalty area. No one in the six yard box. And I've seen it so many times. And with um, the chant going around early in the ground as well with Sergio, you know, retiring and they were singing Sergio Aguero's name. I thought to myself, that's what we need. We need a striker like him again. Perfect timing to put them balls in there. But today was a good game because we, well, we got seven. It was like Leeds joint heaviest defeat ever, I think, something like that. It's our second biggest win in the Premier League. Um, Pep got his 500 goal, quickest manager to have to do in the Premier League ahead of Klopp. So a lot of things went right, you know. And just before Christmas, it takes us four points clear. Top of the table with Chelsea and Liverpool still to play. So if they one of them slips up, we're going to have a great Christmas period, I think. We've got Newcastle away next on Sunday, I think it is. It'll be a tough game, you know. Newcastle go either way at the moment. They could be good, they can be bad. Let's see which one turns up. But if we're on this form, playing like this, We'll smash it and we'll win the league again. And that's it for me. It's just a great day all out. I mean, it's been a good day. 7-0 is a great result. I didn't see it coming on, so I thought we were going to struggle today. Um, but thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out. And if you could hit the like and subscribe button, that'd be great as well. It just helps us be seen more. And uh, see you on Sunday at the Newcastle game.